welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. So today, we are doing something completely different. I am going to be telling you how I got this whole look. Not just the hair, the whole look. Makeup and hair. I swear, this is basically like my signature look. So today, I'm going to be showing you how I got this look. Makeup and hair with a wig from As Asteria Hair. I should be able to say this by now. So if you want to see how I got this look, keep watching. First, we are going to be doing my rat face. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Why am I doing all this? Come the flip down. Um, I started off with my eyebrows already done and we're going to get straight into it, starting with foundation. I basically always have some kind of red or pink eyeshadow. Everything's the same. So I got a lot of questions about like the lip colors I wear, my makeup. So this is my basic day-to-day -day makeup look. As for the hair, this is also my day-to-day -day hair look. So let me just give you guys the details first. I don't want to really be like, oh, this is my favorite wig. But low-key, this is my favorite wig. And it's only 22 inches. It's not 20... Even <laughs> It's not even 24 inches. Y'all know I love my 24 inch wigs. It's only 22, but it looks like a freaking 24. Oh my gosh. Look at, look how far down. I don't, I don't know what they talk about. I'm pretty sure this is 
24. It's layered to perfection. Like, I didn't have to do nothing. As I said, this is a 22 inch silk base wig. Um, It is 180% density, and I will have all of the links down below. Good God, this wig is bomb. It came in this cute little box, and inside they also had a bag, a box, and a bag. You just know it's bomb. Very, very happy that it also came with an elastic band. So, I actually did use the elastic band. I sewed in one from ear tab to ear tab. The cap construction, obviously, is stupid dumb amazing. Number one, it's a silk base. Number two, it's like six by, I think, 13 inches of parting space. I don't know, but there's a lot of parting space, which really helps for this to not look fake. Had a comb on the side, comb on the other side, comb on the back, and if they didn't get you with the silk base, they got one of them good adjustable straps in the back. You know, the good, the good hook that doesn't come out. Y'all, y'all just out here trying to kill the game. God dang. Hey. So let's just get into styling this wig so you can see exactly how I do it once I get the wig. So basically, I just put it on my head. Then I cut off the lace. This wig, y'all, mm, this wig was very dense. My dumb self, I don't know why I said 180% density when I really meant 130. Uh, but they, thank you for the extra density. 180 is just way too much for me. However, like the bottom half, 180 is just amazing. It's the top half that I don't like fighting with. You really gotta mold it down. So I sprayed it with a lot of water to get it to lay down and I parted it in the style that I wanted it. I went through it with the flat iron just to get it to lay more flat. I put in some foaming mousse to also get it to lay flat. <laughs> I went over the part with some LA Girl Pro Concealer um, just to make it look a little bit more realistic. This is a freaking silk base like wig, which is so rare. I've only had like one to this date. I freaking love silk base. It looks so much better. Freaking amazing. A lot more realistic, but I still did have to go in with the concealer because the knots weren't completely bleached. After that, I cut some baby hairs and I slicked them down with some Eco Style and Gel. And then this is literally the style that I always wear my hair, which is these loose beachy waves. I curl the front and the ends only. some hairspray and try like mold the front because I like this little Jessica Rabbit hump. I don't know, it's just my look. And that is it. I have worked with this company before in the past. I think this is the most amount of time I've ever worked with just one company. First, I tried a colored unit, that red one. Then I tried like a curly short bob and now I'm trying this one and all of them were completely amazing. Y'all, this is about to be just me and you, me and you. That's it. Because I'm in love with this company. Like all of their stuff is good. All the good things that I said, the best one I haven't even mentioned yet, which is the hair quality. Everybody always writes me like, what wig do you recommend? What blah, blah, blah. When it comes down to it, for me, probably the number one thing is the hair quality. If the hair quality ain't good, I don't care how much parting space it got. Just look at it. It's just, ugh. Amazing. It's silky. It's flowy. It doesn't have no split ends. It's not frizzy. Oh, God, y'all, y'all. I'm completely in love. So this hair gets A plus 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 plus. Just need y'all to know that this hair is about to slip. That's all I wanted to say. Okay. Not one snag. Ain't shedding. Good part in space. Amazing hair. It's a silk base. I got the good hook. Yeah. I'm done, I'm done. So that is it, you guys. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment down below. I will get back to you like I always do. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe so I can make more videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.